hi this is manish today i'm going to tell about incremental aggregation in informatica so let me show the scenario uh, we have a product table that is product price incremental so what what we are keeping in this table so this is the structure of the table in that we have product id product name product price and active indicator so let me show uh, the data of uh, of this table so this is uh, this table is uh, having all the um, all fruits name like apple orange mango and their price with a product id and what is this active indicator so suppose second time again uh, uh, apple rate suppose it becomes 100 so one more record will be there with 101 product id apple and the previous one will be n and new one will be the active indicator y so what uh, what is our motive is to get a average price of any item any product item and what is in our target table so target table is having product number product name and average price now it is blank so product number product and product name and what is the average price of the product suppose in a week the apple price changes five times so what is the average price that is our motive to get from incremental aggregation so i hope uh, this scenario is clear to everyone so how to create uh, this Uh, let me import a uh, source definition and target so import from database incremental product okay target product average so before uh, doing incremental uh, aggregation we should have some key in our target if it is not in database just create in informatica level so product average is our target uh, table so product number is a key basically so click not null and change this to a primary key now go to mapping designer create mapping m underscore incremental average aggregation click ok drag and drop your mm, source table this is the source table and target table so this is target table now <laughs> click on aggregator transformation select all now click on your source qualifier transformation go to properties tab and Gen click on generate SQL and filter with this you can use filter transformation also click ok so what we are doing we are filtering with the, with the active indicator so only active indicator row will go to the target for the aggreg uh, incremental aggregation so this is the aggregator so what we need in aggregator one group by column so product id is a group by column product name will go as it is so product price product price and active indicator this active indicator is 
uh, no more required so product price so this is required yeah based on this we will do average out this so this should be a decimal to will be output port so what we are doing average so write average here average on what column price and just validate it oh, <clears throat> now what is uh, so here uh, what I'm seeing I'm seeing four, uh, four output ports so this product price is no not more required because we are sending average price in the next trans next target so click apply so product id or product number product name and the average price so this is valid mapping now go to workflow mm -hmm. so which one is uh, this is the mapping incremental average okay now what properties is uh, required to get this incremental aggregation click on uh, session prop session go to properties tab now in this properties tab we can see uh, incremental aggregation is present check this column and what we have to do here is update treat source rows as update now go to mapping tab this should be a uh, scott here uh, this is patch 11 correct so update as update will be no more required update else insert is required click ok what else that's so what we did we change in the street source rows as update and incremental aggregation we check that column that property then in mapping what we did we did update as insert and okay no now just so in first case what should be uh, uh, what, what should be in the target table all the records should go go to the target table so this is succeeded just go to run property so all these three records got inserted into the target let me check uh, this patch 11 is the target table and where is our product average this is product average so you can see uh, this product number is got inserted with the product name apple and average pr average price is 120 now second time this orange then 150 mango is 40 so wh uh, what I'm going to do going to do I will change this mango record to 60 and I will update all other records to N and the new record for mango so this is the source what I will do I will change all this to N N and this is also N and one more record which seem mango now the price is 60 
and this one is active indicator so only one record will go to the target and it will update the same mango with average of 60 and 40 so let me check again so 103 mango now the current rate is 60 and it is active now so just restart the task now it is got succeeded so you can see only one record uh, uh, we are pulling from source qualifier because in that source qualifier uh, transformation we have given uh, indicator uh, criteria and one record got inserted in the product average table so let me check uh, this record is or updated record or new record So this is new record, uh, updated record. So earlier uh, price of mango was 40. Now current price is 60. 60 plus 40, 100. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So average price is 50. That is uh, correct record. So what uh, it what basically what it does basically what it do it uh, create on cache old cache and it compare the new uh, new value with this old cache and get the old plus uh, get the value from old and then from new and and find the average finds the average so this is how this incremental uh, aggregation works in informatica thank you thank you for watching this video